Morning, friends and family. Chad and Joe here with your Ministry Minute, the first official Ministry Minute of 2024. And I've been praying and seeking and asking the Lord, what do I got today? And laid on my heart yesterday the importance or the responsibility that we have as brothers and sisters in Christ, as followers in Christ. And what are those responsibilities? I'll tell you what those responsibilities are. Um, I talked to other friends and family, friends and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, and, um, you know, someone passes away, and, oh, you know, and then you hear the words, well, I wonder if they made it into heaven. <laughs> There's a question about their salvation, and then I started to think about God has a purpose, God has a plan, and if God brings people into your life, your life, and, and then, then they pass away, and you don't know about their salvation, you don't know if they knew Jesus before they left planet Earth, then, in a sense, didn't you not do your job as a Christian? Christ said this great responsibility that we have been given a great commission that we are to share our story, to share our hope, to share our testimony with all those we uh, we come into contact with. And Jesus also said in the good word that he will draw men unto you. So it's not your wittiness or your stunning personality that brings people into your lives. It's actually God that brings people into your path. And as a Christian, as a follower of Christ, it's our responsibility. It's our duty. So... Um, I think society has dulled us, dulled us in the sense that, uh, oh, there's three things that we don't talk about. We don't talk about religion, we don't talk about sex, and we don't talk about politics. Well, if we don't, then look at the mess we're in. And not only that, if if someone in your circle dies and you don't know if they went to heaven or not, then society or, or the enemy of our souls has managed to use society to dull our senses and to not take our responsibility seriously. We need to take this responsibility seriously. You know, I personally sometimes, I, not sometimes, Every time someone passes that I know or I was close, somebody I work with or something like along those lines, in my spirit, I almost feel a little bit of conviction and I feel personal responsibility because I saw this person every single day. You know, we, we said hello or whatever in passing, but I didn't take the time or I didn't care enough to check on their spiritual well-being. Now, am I going to be held accountable for that? I don't know. I hope not because there's a lot of missed opportunities. You know, um, I, I don't think I'll be held accountable. But but uh, when we take on the role as a Christian, we take we take on the responsibilities of being a Christian. It's not just about us feeling good or about us praying or about us being blessed, but it's about blessing others. It's about others. It's about sharing with others what God did for us, how God saved us, how God picked us up, cleaned us off, turned us around and dusted us off, you know. You know, the life we live, the life I live, riddled with sin. My life was hell on earth, you know. And then God picked me up, saved me, and now I can't shut my mouth. Thank you, Lord. You know that 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 I want. I want people to get what I got. You know, I see people sad. I see people suffering. I see people broken and lost and hurt. And 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 then you then you look at their life and and you're like, wow, you okay? I was there. Now this is where I am, and this is how I did it, and this is how you should do it. And I'm getting slightly off track. I mean, the point is, is we can't worry about hurting someone's feelings. At some point in our Christian walk with people in our personal lives, we have to be bold. We have to be courageous. There's a million and, million and one creative ways we can to bring God into the into the conversation. You know, we, we can't be so worried that we're going to offend that person that we walk them right into hell. You know, if, if, if you knew that the person you cared about or you knew somebody that you were close to or somebody that was in your circle, a friend or whatever, if you knew that 100 yards down the road that there was a massive hole and that they were going to fall to their death, what are you going to do? Of course you know what you're going to do. You're going to say, hey, listen, don't go that way. That's dangerous. You, you, you're going to fall in that hole, man. You, you're going to get hurt really, really bad. I don't want you getting hurt. I don't want you getting hurt, so don't go that way, right? That's what you're going to do, right, as a friend, right? So why are we not doing that for them spiritually? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're all going to die. The soul and spirit's going to leave the body. And we're going to stand before the throne of grace and judgment. So if we, we don't know what that person's spiritual condition is, and if we claim to be Christians and we claim to proclaim Christ, then it's our duty and it's our responsibility to make sure to have that uncomfortable conversation. Believe me, the Holy Spirit will help you do it. You know, I, I bring the Lord, I try to bring the Lord into every conversation that I have. I, I try to, in every situation. You know, even total strangers. You know, something as simple as the weather, you know. Uh, oh, man, what a great day. And, well, you know, I've had people say that to me. And, and my response will be, well, thank the good Lord he got the sun up and he got me up this morning. See how you brought the Lord into the conversation? 
And right away, as soon as you say something along those lines or you bring God into the conversation, you're going to know within a minute or two if that, if that person is a Christian. You're going to know if that's a, that's a family member, if that's a brother or sister in Christ. You're going to know within a minute or two. That quickly and that easy. I think what happens is, is we'll get into a conversation or a situation and we just get so comfortable. We're so worried about you know upsetting the person or offending the person that we you know let them go down the road and go into the hole. And then we're sitting here with guilt, riddled guilt, like, oh, my goodness, why didn't I say anything, you know? I, I see it. I see it constantly, and it's, it, it puzzles me. It blows my mind that, you know, especially especially clergy. I, I know quite a few uh, folks who, who, who take it on leadership roles, and, 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 and here they are is, you know, someone passes or someone dies, and, and it's, oh, well, I'm not sure of their salvation. What? You know, Jesus said, I'm going to draw men unto you. And he also said that the commission is to share the gospel, to share the free gift, the free gift that we receive as brothers and sisters in Christ. It's our job to pass that gift on. It's not our job to, to tell people what to do. It's not our job to tell people how to get there or what to do or how to get there. It's not that at all in any way. It's our job and responsibility as a Christian to share the free gift that we were given, the free gift of salvation. It's our job to to you try to gently. What, what does it say? God says that he's anointed you to preach good tidings to the poor, right? To set at liberty the captives. Without Christ, you're a captive to the sin, captive to, to the world and the ways of the world, right? Uh, to give sight back to the blind. People don't understand, so that's why they're blind in a sense, because they don't understand God and God's word. You are a shining example of Jesus Christ. We are to be his hands and his feet in this world. And that's the only way the gospel is going to get spread. That's the only way the gospel is going to go out into all the world is, is, is you. Right there, you. Yeah, you looking at me. Yeah, you looking at me. It's going to be up to you. It's up to you. And, and, it, and if you proclaim to know Christ and Christ is your king and Lord and Savior, you're his ambassador. <laughs> And you need to have those uncomfortable conversations. You've got to make sure every single person in your family, in your circle, you've got to know where they all stand. You have to know where they all stand. I just recently had a family member pass away. We had no idea. Unfortunately, the friendship got severed uh, a few years back. And I'm, I'm talking to my wife about it, doing some self-examination, trying to figure out you know, what went wrong there. But at least I know deep down in my heart. That not only not only not only the the the, the aunt right, she went to heaven, but the uncle went to heaven. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. God moved us in next door. Really cool story. I'm not going to spend the time to tell you the story, but uh, thankfully I had that conversation, and thankfully I I took took my responsibility seriously, my commission, and uh, you, yo, I, I mean spiritual condition. Where do you stand, man? You know, you are you going into the fire? Or are you going to to paradise? You know, the crystal sea, man. The streets of gold. Where are you going? It's that simple. We just hit them with it, man. You hit them with it. If, if someone's in your life and they're circling around you, they're in your life for a reason and a purpose. God's brought them into your life. And it's your job and it's your responsibility to tell them about the free gift you got. It's up to them. It's their choice whether or not they're going to accept it. That's their choice. But it's your job to let them know where you were and where you are now and what God did for you and what Christ did for you and, and, and your guaranteed golden ticket to the crystal sea, to the mansion in the sky. <laughs> it's your job to tell them about that. And you just got to be, you got to do it. You can't be afraid. You, 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 God didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of courage, of sound mind, of love, and boldness, of boldness. Be encouraged today. Have that tough talk, man. Have it. Because nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. Nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. Have that difficult conversation. Give that person the free gift or tell that person about the free gift. And, uh, You'll sleep better at night. At least, at least I know I do for the most part. There's a couple I have. There's, there's a few people that have passed that that I, I'm not sure, and it's sad that I that I didn't do my job. So, but but as as it happens more and more, I take it more and more seriously. I take it more and more seriously, because what goes on after here doesn't end. It's eternity. It's eternity. Life here is going to end after 50, 60, 70 years, right? But after this. It doesn't end. It's forever. So that's why it's so important. Be encouraged today. Know God loves you all very, very much. And remember, if we can change ourselves, we can change the world.